Hello guys, in this video I'm going to do a quick unboxing and testing and also a comparison of this shotgun uh, windshield and, uh, uh, and shock mount uh, for shotgun microphones for film production, video production uh, I'm, I'm going to compare this to my favorite which is the one that I got a few years ago from Rode and I still use it this one, uh, the company uh, sent it in to me, this is a digital photo uh, after I did a review of their um, gimbal support system, the, the one for DJI Ronin S and that actually works with, it, with a few other gimbals so uh, that's something that I like a cool accessory that I've been using uh, and anyways, they sent this thing in to me which normally again I wouldn't probably bother reviewing it because uh, I already have one uh, that, that I'm really happy with, with the one from Rode but after looking at this and seeing how much cheaper it is, uh, I figured why not? I'll give it a try, see if it's if it's any good. So let's open up the box. All right, so we got the shock mount here and this thing. So this is the blimp, and uh, oh, and it has the very important. Uh, it has the the dead cat. That's what it's called, or some people call it different things, but it kind of looks like a dead cat. <laughs> Anyways, this is a uh, something you put on when you have you know really extreme wind out there, uh, and then this is the the sort of main sort of windshield kind of wind protection blimp. Now, first look, I can tell you guys, it looks. <laughs> it literally looks almost identical to the one that I have from from Rode. Uh, actually, let me let me take the the one that I have from Rode, and we can just kind of compare it quickly. Here's my favorite one, uh, the one from Rode, like I said, and uh, also has the dead cut. And let me take this out. This is the blimp, and just to kind of compare it, I mean. <laughs> If you were to ask me, or if I didn't even know, if, you know, if I, you know, if this came in the box, I would think it's, like I said again, it's it's identical. Like th this part, at least itself, is is identical to to the one that this company made. So wouldn't be surprised if this was actually made in the same factory or something. Um, here, let me also take this out so we can compare the the actual shock mount. So here's the shock mount from Rode, as you can see, uh, and it's, uh, you know, I, I, like I said, my favorite, and this one is very, very similar. Now, th there are some differences. The markings are the same. Uh, what are the differences? I mean, the shock mount looks identical, so if this one worked, and like I said, I've used the one from Rode on, on lots of film productions already and uh, mm -hmm. never had any complaints, uh, and this is, again, very similar. The the little slide here where you actually you know you can adjust the, the distance between these um, the the microphone basically clips is uh, is um, I mean it looks almost identical. What's different? The handle is definitely different. Uh, the rolled one has a plastic handle with like this little piece of rubber uh, on top, and then you also have this clip here so you can loosen so you can easily adjust the angle of the microphone. And then this thing also clips your cable here, and then you have a XLR audio cable here on the back. So that's how this looks. Now the one here from Digital Photo, it's also a plastic handle, but it basically just looks like it's looks like it's identical, same plastic handle with this thing, uh, with the little clip. Uh, this thing is also the same for basically loosening loosening up the slide, so you can move it up back and forth. I mean, it looks everything looks identical except the one from Rode has um, like a, like this kind of extra rubber put on on the handle. This one doesn't. It's just the plastic. But it still, you know, it feels good. Uh, like it's you know easy to grip it in your hand. I, I've used it sometimes like this, but most of the time I end up just putting this on a boom pole, which this one uh, has a uh, what is it, three eighths you know a screw here at the attachment on the bottom. So you can easily put it on um, on any standard sound boom pole. So that's that's this is how this works. And then inside here, uh, you would actually put the mic. So let me take off this mic from here. Like that. 
all right there it is and instead of doing this quick test yeah it looks solid like it you know the mic is staying in there it doesn't come off it doesn't feel like it's gonna come off at all uh yet it i can clearly see that the Rikert kind of here shock mount absorbs basically the vibrations which is important uh, and then over that you basically slide this lock it and here's maybe the big difference now i notice actually these little uh knobs here for tightening basically the the blimp are made from a, a aluminum or some kind of metal the ones here on the road one are plastic uh, you guys can see it there so this is plastic and that actually always bugged me too because they were like very long so sometimes they would get in the in the back here uh and where the cable sticks out um plus this one actually looks like it's made from a better material so so that's nice uh and then yeah like i said the blimp itself is identical and the dead cat also looks identical like it has that uh that same kind of a here kind of a cord so you can tighten it once you put it over the mic keep it tight the inside of the material is identical um again <laughs> looks almost like an like a copy of the the one from Rode, except it's a lot cheaper now the ultimate way of comparing this is to actually do a sound test so i'm gonna go outside uh hopefully there's some wind but uh, even if there isn't i can just kind of show you guys how i would use this in a sort of a standard film configuration so to test out the audio uh, i've got the microphone inside the blimp already i'm using the rode ntg4 plus microphone uh, and i'm gonna do various quick tests so right so right now outside there isn't really uh, any wind really i mean there's sometimes a little bit of wind comes you know and goes uh, but just to kind of show you guys i'm gonna basically just blow on the microphone uh and and you know just to kind of so you can hear uh, you know how well it blocks the, the the wind or any kind of wind that comes and hits the microphone uh, so you know ideally this is a shotgun microphone you know you want to make sure that it definitely any you know wind that kind of hits a head on uh is going to be stopped so if i just blow on it so I mean, I can hear, I can hear me just blowing the air, but I cannot hear that little like low uh, frequency rumble that you usually you're gonna hear if there's no protection on the mic. And here from the side also. And yeah, I'm, I'm blowing pretty much as hard as I can. And as you can see, I've got the mic really close to me and I can't hear uh, any of that of that wind rumble, so that's good. And now, just as a comparison, uh, I'm gonna test it out basically without the dead cut on it. Uh, again, just kind of testing out basically how well it, it uh, blocks the wind. Now, uh, you know, keep in mind, I have a heater there running in the back now, so there's some background noise, but uh, this shouldn't still, you know, detract from, you know, you guys actually being able to hear whether there's some, some wind here being picked up. So I can definitely hear it here, like right away on my headphones, uh, the, you know, the, the wind, the kind of the little low, you know, frequency rumble is a lot more noticeable right now um that the the you know the dead cat is not under but again now just for the hell of it let me take off this thing which normally you would never do when you're outside and now let's hear how well it resists the wind <laughs> basically this is the bare microphone so it's not gonna resist it so anyways this is how it would sound if you had nothing protecting your microphone So as you can hear, a huge difference. Uh, obviously, uh, having some kind of a blimp and then preferably on top of that, uh, a dead cat is, is a must, I think, uh, whenever you're working on a, you're basically doing sound, especially outside on location. And next I'm gonna test out the handling noise. Now, part of this test obviously is gonna be dependent on what kind of a boom pole you're using. Uh, I mean, I could be holding this directly the handle, but I wanted to kind of see how it works in conjunction with my favorite uh, boom pole. Uh, years ago, I did a video about my audio setup where I actually used the uh, Rode NTG, uh, you know, blimp with the boom pole from, uh, you know, from Rode also. Uh, since then, uh, that boom pole kind of fell apart, mainly the part here where you were basically you know, loosening these parts so you can extend the boom pole and, and kind of, you know, bring it in closer. So uh, I have since switched to this one and it's actually a lot cheaper from Auray. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a good boom pole. It's carbon fiber, very light. I actually used it uh, about a year ago in South America and like really humid weather. Also, we were out over the ocean and salty water. This thing got dipped in the water. No rust anywhere except these two little screws here that I have. Uh, this is basically where you would uh, plug in the actual uh, microphone. Uh, just a little screws there that got rusted. Otherwise, you know, this thing's holding up really well. It got dropped multiple times. So I'm really happy with it. And it's, like I said, carbon fiber. It, it's pretty compact, so it fits in my carry-on luggage if I'm just traveling, because it's just basically this length. But uh, it, it extends pretty far. So, and they, they have different versions with different lengths. So you guys can check that out. Link in the description. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of what I'm testing it with. So kind of in this handling test, I want to just see how well uh, you know the, the the basically the shock mount is going to be holding the microphone and kind of isolating the vibrations so uh you're not going to really hear me anywhere talking here because uh yeah because i'm just going to be rotating the mic so As you can see, it uh, adjusts nicely. You can actually t uh, adjust the tension up here of it if you want it to be kind of more, you know, a little bit harder to let you move the mic. But it is it is nice up here, like, the you know, the, with the kind of setup that I have. By the way, some of you I know before in my previous video were asking me how I attached my uh, Zoom recorder, uh, you know, and you can attach any recorder to the boom pole. I just use this little clamp arm, kind of a magic arm. So I'll provide the link again for that too. But um, yeah, as you can see, the handles isolates the vibrations pretty well. So, uh, if, you know, good, good uh, all around blimp in that sense. It holds the microphone well. Um, and the handling noise test is very important, actually, because uh, you'd be surprised. There's a lot of blimps out there, or, you know, uh, these microphone kind of attachments that are, they, they might black, let's say, the wind. But the second you start moving the microphone around, you hear everything. You hear the, you know, the, the microphone basically moving in there, all the little vibrations. Uh, and obviously, when you're on an actual film set, it's important to be able to do that because almost never you're going to be recording where you just have the boom operator holding the mic steadily in one place. Usually, he has to kind of go between, you know, the actors as the, you know, one line and the other line. And here, just as a quick comparison, I threw the microphone uh, onto the road, sort of my go-to, uh, you know, microphone blimp and, and uh, shock mount. Uh, this is what I use most films. I've had this for oh, now, I don't know, five, six years. Uh, great, great, like I said, system. I'm really happy with it. And uh, again, this is what I've been using so far. Uh, never had a reason to really to switch from this. Now, the only thing is, is uh, uh, a couple of years ago, one of my sound guys uh, burned, uh, basically he was recording something at a campfire and he put this a little bit too close to the heat source and so the the dead cat here, like the, the, the hairs on the front got a little fried and uh, burned off. So it's not as dense here basically in the front. Basically I was uh, up at the cottage trying to record some audio of, uh, of a campfire. A little bit of the dead cat got singed in the front here. So this is my confession. I'm responsible for that. You're yes. torturing a dead cat. Yeah, I was torturing. Yeah, I was torturing a dead cat. But anyways, this is how it sounds with it. And uh, again, I'm gonna do the the old-fashioned wind test. So I'm gonna blow some wind on it now. So yeah, maybe because now those hairs got a little cinched there. <laughs> maybe that's why the you can hear it. I think a little bit more than you can with the other one. Uh, but here from the side, they ha weren't burnt, so let's see how it sounds here. Uh, and then this is also the handling test quickly. I'm going to move the mic around. And anyways, this is how the, the road blimp and um, dead cat sound. So um, hopefully this gives you guys a good idea, sort of something you, you can compare it to uh, of, of how the, the, the new blimp uh, basically works. So as you guys could hear, uh, this thing works pretty much the same uh, as the, the more expensive one from, uh, from road. So 
If you are looking out there for a, for a blimp and a shock mount for your shotgun microphones, this will accept various lengths, uh, then um, yeah, I guess I can, this is one of the ones that I can recommend. So, you know, especially since, like I said, the same results, I mean, it looks almost identical uh, as the more expensive Rode, which by the way, at the time of this video, it costs, the, the Rode one costs $300, this one is 180 bucks, so uh, yeah, big big difference. Though maybe maybe they'll even offer some kind of sale or something. Uh, for the latest prices, as always, just check the links in the description of this video. Uh, and if you guys want more info about this or, or the other Rode microphone blimp shotgun mount, mount or is it even the microphone that I used in this, uh, then check out my website. As always, TomAntosFilms.com. Uh, and if you want to help support me, then join me on Patreon. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.